Dragons Live, presented by Form Communications. Hello everyone, I'm Alexis Kennedy alongside Tana Robinson. Welcome to Dragons Live. We hope you had a great Thanksgiving and were able to enjoy some time with family and friends. On today's show, we're bringing both men's and women's basketball previews, a recap of November signing day, and much more. But first, we're going to take a dive into the swimming pool to catch up with new head coach Charlie King to show how his first year is going. First year here, how is MSUM going for you? I love it. I'm in love. You know, I'm a dragon, and uh, I just, it's a, it's a great institution. It, it's got great people. The athletes are awesome, and the community is just, I love it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, I couldn't be happier. D3 to D2, how has that transition been, um, like, coaching-wise? Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is NCAA rules. I've coached at every division there is, so um, I think my philosophy has always been the same, is academics are why you're here. Um, so really putting a focus on that. But then we're trying to be great swimmers, and then what are you trying to be great at in your life and looking forward now kind of we're pushing towards what mid-season about mm -hmm. you know what are you looking forward to what are you trying to build on pushing through the heart of the season you know i think we have a great group of women and they work hard every day i think they're buying into the program and you know just hard work and getting better every day focusing on one thing at a time we're in a tough part of the training right now so we're at kind of some transitions where we're trying to go very high intensity our volumes up there uh, we're lifting real heavy and so we're moving towards trying to swim fast in December we'll do a little small taper where we rest a little bit and try to pop some good times and then uh, just focus on finals and then we get on to our training uh, for the second semester and then really it's about fine-tuning uh, our volume will drop a little bit our intensity will go up even higher and then uh, we're really trying to swim fast in February and qualify for nationals in March. Thank you, Coach King, and good luck this weekend at the Dragon Cobber Invitational at the Hulbert Aquatic Center this Friday and Saturday. Sticking with swim and dive, I got the chance to talk with standout senior diver Amber Westering to see how she's making the most of her final season. I started out in gymnastics when I was younger, and then I went to swimming. And then sophomore year of high school, I decided that I would try it out, and it worked out really well. I really like the school as well. It wasn't just the team that brought me here. I liked the atmosphere of the school when I toured, and I love the atmosphere of the team as well. So it was really awesome. So there are four positions in diving, and they're considered A, B, C, and D. And A stands for straight, B stands for pike, C stands for tuck, and D stands for free, which means you can do any position in twisters. So there's also five categories, and those go along with the A, B, C, D. Um, and those are forwards, which are 100s, which are mainly the easier ones. Backs are 200s. Reverses are 300s, which is where you walk forward on the board and flip backwards. And then inwards are 400s, where you're standing backwards on the board and flip forwards. So, and then 5,000s, which is get, where it gets a little bit confusing, um, those are twisters. It's definitely a big mental thing than physical. Um, I think that a lot of the times we try to stay loose and like try to mess around in between dives or like during diving and all that just to like remain calm and stuff like that because it is kind of scary. And so we try to like goof around and then just loosen up a little bit. So um, I'm really aiming towards nationals. I narrowly missed it last season by 0.45. So I'm really, really hoping that I can make that happen this year. Thank you, Amber, for showing us how it's done on the board. I know I learned something and best of luck the rest of your senior season. We'll be right back with more Dragons Live. Stick around to hear how men's and women's basketball are gearing up for their seasons and much more. The mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled. There's a place where teaching and learning are transforming lives, where relationships drive deeper, more meaningful exploration and discovery based on mutual respect and trust, where you'll discover who you are and what you can achieve when you head out into the world to make it better. Life is more than a journey. It is a chance to transform. 
getaway and have a little fun, book your room at the highly rated Microtel Inn and Suites. It's conveniently located just off 8th Street and I-94. Clean rooms and all the amenities you need to relax and recharge after a fun day out. Plus, when you wake up, you can enjoy a free hot breakfast. What are you waiting for? Book your room today at the Microtel Inn and Suites in Moorhead. Call 218-284-4022 or visit microtelmoorhead.com. Tune in for MSUM Dragons football on Saturday, December 1st as the Dragons take on Missouri s and for the Mineral Water Bowl. Live coverage starts at 11.30 a.m. with the Dragons live pregame show followed by kickoff at noon from Excelsior Springs, Missouri. It's the Dragons versus the Miners on Saturday, December 1st in the 53rd Annual Mineral Water Bowl and you can watch live on the Dragons app, our smart TV apps, msumdragons.com or the TV home of the Dragons, WDAY Extra. It's a new stay at the Courtyard by Marriott, located just minutes from downtown Fargo, local colleges, shopping centers, and several restaurants. The Courtyard features a 24-hour fitness center, 24-hour on-site Starbucks, and our bistro restaurant and lounge open for breakfast and dinner daily. Relax in one of our two indoor swimming pools and hot tub. The comfort your family needs close to all the action at the Courtyard by Marriott. Visit our website or call 218-284-1000. That's 218-284-1000. Get fired up for the new shop MSUMDragons.com, the official online store of Dragon Athletics, featuring top brands like Under Armour, Adidas, Columbia, and more. Get gear in women's, youth, toddler, and infant sizes, perfect for all of our Dragon fans. Support your favorite Dragon team with Select a Logo. Anything custom ships in 72 hours. And take your tailgating to the next level with items like bleacher chairs, tailgate tents, and lawn chairs. Get the gear and support your team with profits going directly to Dragon Athletics from shop MSUMDragons.com. Update or download to the all-new MSUM Dragons app on iTunes and Google Play. The new app features customized following of only your favorite Dragons teams, incredible in-app live stats and media coverage, and our Fired Up Rewards program all in one easy-to-use app. Update your Dragons app, search MSUM in your app store, or visit msumdragons.com app to download the new MSUM Dragons app today. Welcome back to Dragons Live. The Dragon men's basketball team had a rough time adjusting to a young roster last season, but they now enter this year with a clean slate. I caught up with head coach Chad Walthall and asked him how he plans to bounce back. Last season you finished 7-22, uh, not the greatest of seasons. Not good. <laughs> so uh, what are you looking for this season? What are your goals toward this season to get your team back on track? Well, you know, I think, you know, we were fortunate to win four four championships in a row, and I think, you know, during the course of any program, you have to kind of reset the button, and, uh, you know, it's cyclical, and so what we decided to do is redshirt five players. Uh, we felt it was in the best interest of our programs to redshirt a lot of players and give them another year of eligibility, and in a sense, basically, you're, you're trading their their least productive year for their best year down the road and so we just felt that was the way to go and and so you know I think it, it it's going to help this year because we're deeper and we also uh, have a lot more experience and so a lot of those kids that have played you know last year uh, are a year more advanced and then our guys that are just becoming um, eligible this year to play uh, are very good players and they're ready to go so I, I think it's going to be a, a, a good year. And speaking of those redshirted players, uh, most of them were freshmen. What do you want to see for them to earn playing time and possibly a spot in starting lineup? Well, I mean, I, I, again, I'm not so much about age or what, how much experience. You basically are going to play players that are going to be the most productive on the defensive end of the floor and the offensive end of the floor. So it might. Uh, be where you're playing 10 players, it might be where you're playing 8 players or less. So it depends on productivity and consistency. And so it's not so much about the age group, it's just a matter of how productive and how fast you pick up things. And so that's how we kind of evaluate it, whether you're a senior or a first year guy. Now even with change, some things have remained constant because there's three starters that return this season, Aston mm -hmm. Park, uh, Trayvon Coe, and Johnny Beninga. So what do you want to see out of them in terms of playing ability, leadership, that kind of thing? I think more than anything, uh, performance will speak volumes. And not necessarily you have to light the world on fire every night, but I think just your effort and the ability to play hard uh, every single possession and then play intelligently 
and be a good teammate. And I think all three of those guys are more than capable and will do that. You know, all of them have a lot of game experience and they know the ins and outs of the program, the ins and outs of the conference and how difficult it is. So they, uh, they understand how, how uh, hard you have to play. And, um, and so our guys will pick up on that. The most important thing for any program is having high achievers and guys that uh, you know, do the right thing. And so I think it's incumbent upon our older guys to you know, basically let the guys know and, and show them by example uh, the standard that is set. And you know, we're fortunate though because a lot of our first year playing guys have been here a year already. So we're really a lot more experienced than what the roster might say. From your perspective, what is it like coaching a team that has a lot of youth on it? It's fun because I think the group we have is really invested in, in the program. And so when you have a bunch of guys that uh, are mature and respect the game and uh, have a, a high standard for themselves, um, you know, it's really enjoyable as a coach to watch them grow and to watch them really invest into doing well. Uh, and that's a hard thing to teach. I mean, that, a lot of that's internal. And so... Um, to have a, a number of guys that are at that younger age group or, or younger as far as um, playing experience, to have that investment says a lot about them. And so every, every time we have an opportunity to compete, uh, there should be some improvement there. And so I really look forward to watching this team grow and, and mature and to get better throughout the season because of that investment that they have. We have a good mixture of experienced guys and younger guys. Uh, they seem to have a really good synergy. Uh, and, and they're having an understanding of how to play and to play hard. I mean, that's really the main thing, and that's something that we've lacked a little bit of uh, that I see really a, a turn this year is, is how hard we're playing. We play a fun brand of basketball. I think we like to run the ball, but I think we execute well if we hit in the half court. Um, and uh, again, I think, I think uh, the, the more fans and support we can get, the better. Thank you, Coach Walthall. Men's basketball heads on the road this Saturday to take on Northern State. Now shifting gears to women's basketball, let's pass it over to Jacob Tenson. Jacob, what do you have for us? Thanks, Lexi. I caught up with head coach Carla Nelson and asked her about her expectations for this season as they go for a third straight NSIC title. Uh, what challenges does starting off the season with nine straight away games bring? Well, first of all, it would be travel. And then being youthful, that would go right along with how, do they, how are they going to travel. Um, but certainly I, the, the other thing would be how we prepare. You know, we have a certain way we prepare and it's, it's not as simple as just going out and throwing the ball up. So how do our young players deal with the prep? How do they deal with travel? And then the other thing is there's the stresses of missing class um, and then maybe uh, sleeping in an uncomfortable bed and all those things. So those are things that uh, we have to deal with, but we have no excuses. We need to be ready to play. We have a tough schedule, and it just so happens that our first nine games are on the road, and that's just the way it is. So get ready. Strengths and weaknesses of the team? Well, our strength would be our defense. You know, I think we're going to be a pretty good defensive team. Last weekend we played, I thought, great defense. Weakness, of course, uh, we have a, a roster of nine freshmen and sophomores, so that there's no doubt there will be some challenges with our youth. And we have one senior in Jackie Volkart. And so do you have high expectations from her, or are you counting on the underclassmen to kind of carry her leadership role? Well, I have high expectations for Jackie. Uh, I think she needs to really make herself uh, uh, a valuable commodity on the offensive end for us. She needs to be aggressive offensively, and then defensively she needs to defend. Uh, but I also think we have three, well, we have three juniors that need to play big roles for us. That'd be Megan Hintz, Maddie Green, and Grace Swenson. And... Uh, they're going to need to be leaders right along with Jackie and make sure that they are, are prepared and ready to play and, and do the things that we need to do to be successful. What are your goals for the season? The top goal there, uh, would be to compete for a, a North title. Um, the North is going to be super competitive this year, and that's a tall task for us, but that, that would be where we would start with uh, being our top goal. Thanks, Coach Nelson, for your time, and good luck this season. The women start NSIC play this Saturday as well at Northern State. Thanks, Jacob. Always a tough matchup for both teams down there in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Hopefully both teams can get off to a good start. I hope so. Up next on Dragons Live, we'll bring you a recap of fall signing day and give salute to our veterans. Don't go anywhere. Another day. And just like every day, it never seems to slow down. But you have a plan. Grab a cup, grab the paper, 
and grab a little time just for you. It's worth it. Don't get the paper? Just grab the phone. Call now and save up to 60% off the newsstand price. Journalists, bringing the story home every day. Get fired up for the new shop MSUMDragons.com, the official online store of Dragon Athletics, featuring top brands like Under Armour, Adidas, Columbia, and more. Get gear in women's, youth, toddler, and infant sizes, perfect for all of our Dragon fans. Support your favorite Dragon team with Select a Logo. Anything custom ships in 72 hours. And take your tailgating to the next level with items like bleacher chairs, tailgate tents, and lawn chairs. Get the gear and support your team with profits going directly to Dragon Athletics from shop MSUMDragons.com. Share your photos with the Storm Tracker app, powered by Ladies. First thing I do every morning when I get up is look out the window and see what the sky is doing. You might drive by something one day and it looks plain and nothing fancy, and the next day the sun is right, the clouds are right, you just got to stop for a picture. I have a lot of relatives who live in other parts of the state and they see them on TV and it always kind of makes them feel like they're connected. Share your story with the Storm Tracker app, powered by Ladies. Tune in for MSUM Dragons football on Saturday, December 1st as the Dragons take on Missouri s and for the Mineral Water Bowl. Live coverage starts at 11.30 a.m. with the Dragons live pregame show followed by kickoff at noon from Excelsior Springs, Missouri. It's the Dragons versus the Miners on Saturday, December 1st in the 53rd annual Mineral Water Bowl and you can watch live on the Dragons app, our smart TV apps, msumdragons.com or the TV home of the Dragons, WDAY Extra. Exceeding expectations. Getting better every day. It doesn't happen by chance. Preparation pays off. So the only question to ask yourself is, am I better today than I was yesterday? Exceed yesterday. Choose Sanford Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Libby here with another lesson. Come on, we're gonna be late. And remember, I'm picking you both up from practice tonight. Oh, you know, Mad Bus could take your kids to all their activities. It'll save you time and teach them some independence. That's a fantastic idea. Can they take it tomorrow? Of course, sweetie. And here's something to get you through today. You are a lifesaver. I learned my lesson. Join me and take the challenge to ride green. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dragons Live. Fall sports are coming to an end and winter sports are underway, which means we've got our first signing day recap for you as we welcome some new faces to Dragon Athletics. Due to an NCAA rule change in signing periods, all MSUM Dragons teams except for football now have a combined signing date from November 14th to August 21st. Previously, there were two signing periods in different sports at different times of the year. Now, simply, everyone but football signs around right now. So far, because it's still active, we've welcomed over 20 new members to the Dragons family. Let's start with soccer, who had the biggest class with eight total signees, three from the FM West Fargo metro area and several more from our region. Jalen Bauer, Tiana Daniels, Mackenzie Eichert, Callan Johnson, JC Osier, Megan Pump, Allison Tharp, and Kate Wygum. Men's basketball signed two, Dane Zimmer and Jacob Benega. Yep, the little brother of current Dragon standout, Johnny Benega. Women's basketball grabbed three signees, Gabby Ritchie, Kate Thornstrom, and Mariah McKeever. Volleyball added four with Tia Doppler, Angel Vo, Bridget Witzman, and Brooke Walthall, daughter of men's basketball head coach Chad Walthall. Golf signed Megan McBride from Lakeville, Minnesota. Track and field and cross country added Connor Hayes, Braxton Brewer, and Stina Larson. And finally, wrestling signed two with Corey Schmidt and Josh Irwin. Once again, welcome to the family, to all the new Dragons. We can't wait to have you on campus. A few weeks ago, we celebrated the lives of all veterans across the country. Here at MSUM, a group of veterans from the Vietnam War has been present on the court and on the field for every national anthem. Here's a look at the Northern Warriors. Hey, my name's Larry Nicholson. I am president of uh, Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 941. And we do all the color guards over here at Morehead State University. I was in the Air Force. Um, 
65 to 68, spent my last year in Vietnam. Why is it important to do the color guard here at MSUN? Well, for one thing, I'm a graduate of Morgan State, but um, it's something like we like doing and we feel like we're at home. It's like, it's like no other feeling you, you could walk in and you appreciate. I, don't know how, I can't put it into words really, it's just like we belong here. It's th that type of feeling. And uh, we enjoy it, we really do. Well, we're really involved in the community. We do a lot of work at the VA helping veterans that a lot of that will never be leaving the, 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 the VA. Um, we're, this week, for instance, we are doing several color guards and visiting with um, veterans in the assisted living facilities, ceremonies on the bridge, commemorating World War I um, and Vietnam, all the wars, but this is a hundred year anniversary of the ending of World War I. So we speak in schools, that'll be in the, mostly the spring of the year, talking to kids about Vietnam and the crazy thing about it, a lot of kids have never heard of Vietnam. So we uh, do a lot of that. Um, we do a lot of programs with not only schools, assisted living and what we do is we do the Salvation Army thing and we did just did the Halloween thing in the mall with the kids. So we're involved in the community. Um, if they ask us to be there, we're usually there. Well, it's, that's like being a partner with Morehead State. It's like um, we're there if they want us, um, and we love doing it. We just, uh, I, like I said, it's, it's a strange feeling. Like if I could, and I talked to another veteran, it's like you've known them all your life. It's really a strange, and it's, it's the same with Morehead State. You come over here, it's like you, like I said before, you belong here. It's something that, I, it's reciprocal back and forth, you know. Um, wish I could bottle it, but um, it's a good feeling, it really is. And being a graduate of here, to me, is more special. Any message that we need to keep in our minds this Veterans Day weekend? Yeah, remember the veterans. Um, like we are commemorating the World War I vets, and you don't hear anything about those guys at all. And the uh, Daughters of the American Revolution came to us and asked us if we would commemorate them on the bridge on Sunday. And that's what we plan on doing there and, and all of the activities that we're involved in, talking about World War I and World War II and all the conflicts we've been in. It's always an honor to have the Northern Warriors with us for every home event. A big thank you to them, all veterans, and current military personnel for your service. Coming up next on Dragons Live, we'll have a few announcements for you. Take a look at upcoming events in Dragonland, as well as Doug's desk after the break. Dragon Swim School is proud to offer year-round swimming and diving lessons with the lowest student-to-instructor ratio around. Lessons are available for all levels, including parent-child sessions and preschool. Help your child learn to love the water in a safe and caring environment with us at Dragon Swim School. Visit msumdragons.com forward slash swim for more information. That's msumdragons.com forward slash swim. You always do this. You had a couple of pops in you and got cocky. Who's up for a game of wing roulette, you said? Because you thought it'd be funny to watch one of your friends get stuck with the hot one. But your friends, they got teriyaki, then spicy garlic, and then Asian zing. And now you're looking at the last one and you're thinking, my God, what have I done? Tune in for MSUM Dragons football on Saturday, December 1st as the Dragons take on Missouri S&T for the Mineral Water Bowl. Live coverage starts at 11.30 a.m. with the Dragons live pregame show followed by kickoff at noon from Excelsior Springs, Missouri. It's the Dragons versus the Miners on Saturday, December 1st in the 53rd annual Mineral Water Bowl and you can watch live on the Dragons app, our smart TV apps, msumdragons.com or the TV home of the Dragons, WDAY Extra. 
Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. Your she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she she or she shed. She she? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call State Farm agent Dave Eggers at 218-233-1334 today. From the time you were little, bouncing off the walls, you were told, go do something. And so you did. Then one day you found yourself in a cap and gown. Now, go do something was an invitation. Or was it a challenge? Go with Midco. We connect you with powerful, innovative technology. That's the start. Your drive and vision do the rest. Go do something. Yeah, that's definitely a challenge. You and Midco. Let's go. Welcome back to Dragons Live. Our very own 80, Doug Peters, is always fired up about something. And especially now that Dragon Football is heading to the Mineral Water Bowl. Hey, I'm fired up. You're joining me for this week's segment of Doug's Desk, or maybe we should call it the Mineral Water Bowl. Dragon Football is playing in the 53rd Annual Mineral Water Bowl, the longest running NCAA Division II bowl game, and we are fired up about it. There's lots of stuff going on around the game. Our team is gonna head down on Wednesday. There's an informal banquet on Thursday night. They're gonna be in the local schools on Friday morning, do a little community service, have a little practice. Then there's the community banquet that Friday night. If you're interested, tickets are available at the door if you're heading down to the game. Next morning, we're gonna get up. We're gonna start tailgating at 9 a.m. You'll see the big rat Red Dragon Tent. Game kicks off at noon. If you're not able to make it down, you can watch on WDAY Extra. We are sending our GO team down to broadcast the game, so we know it's going to be a quality broadcast. And we are so fired up because it's a great next step for our football program. You know, to get to an 8-3 regular season record in a very difficult league and be able to advance to postseason play, definitely a sign of where our program's going, and we are looking forward to celebrating every ounce of that. Fired up for the Dragons, fired up for football. Follow at msumdragons.com for other details if you want more information. We've got a few more things to take care of before we go. Head to shopmsumdragons.com today and get 20% off all hoodies. That's 20% off all hooded sweatshirts at the official online store of Dragon Athletics, shopmsumdragons.com. We have a brand new MSUM Dragons app. You can update your old Dragons app or search MSUM in the App Store. You can fleet the hashtag Fired Up Fan Zone Rewards app because this new version has both great live coverage and rewards together in one app that you can customize to follow only the sports you want to follow. Get the new MSUM Dragons app today by updating App Store or by visiting msumdragons.com slash app. And one final look at our upcoming home schedule. On Friday, Dragon Wrestling is home in NSIC action against Northern State at 7 p.m. On both Friday and Saturday, swimming and diving goes over to West Fargo's Halbert Aquatic Center as they host two days of the Dragon Cobber Invitational with an 11 a.m. start time on Friday and a 10 a.m. start time on Saturday. Also on Saturday, the mats will stay down in Nemzik Fieldhouse as wrestling hosts the Dragon Open starting at 9 a.m. For a full schedule on Dragon events, download the Dragons app or visit msumdragons.com. Thank you for joining us here on Dragons Live. We hope you enjoyed the show. Come right back here on Saturday for our live coverage of Dragon Football in the Mineral Water Bowl. Yes, our very own GO team will be there to catch all the action for you with live coverage starting at 11.30 a.m. with the Dragons Live pregame show and kickoff at noon. For our producer, John Webking, our director, Alex Nelson, Jacob Tenson, Kaylee Sedlicek, Alexis Kennedy, Laura Alexander, and myself, thanks for watching. Do your best to stay warm as we head for another winter. And of course, GO Dragons!